When looking at your AccuSlide, uh, there's a couple things to take note to see when it's time to readjust your slide room. Um, when the room is fully extended, what we're looking for is to make sure that the room is properly sealed in the out position. What we call a seal is when the standoff brackets are making contact with the vertical columns that the cables are coming out of, or the jams. Um, when the room is fully extended, the weight of the room is going to force the top to seal, and the weight of the room is also going to want to kick the bottom in. So if you're sitting in your slide room, and you notice that the room is tipping downward or outward, it may be due to your bottom not sealing properly in the exterior position, like so. Also, when the room is fully extended, you know it's time for a readjustment when the exterior cables are sagging. Typically, we want the tension of these cables to be a half inch of play up and a half inch of play down with these two fingers. So you can see both tops and bottoms of these cables are sagging in place, so it's definitely time for a readjustment. The first step in readjusting your slide room is identifying which cables are completing which function. As you can see up here, we have cables that are labeled out and we have cables that are labeled in. Your out cables are your interior cables that pull the room out. Your in cables are your exterior cables that pull the room in. Also, if you look closer on these adjustment brackets, you'll notice that the top cable on each bracket is labeled bottom. The bottom cable is labeled top, and that's in reference to which corner of the slide room that the cables are running into. So when the room is fully extended and we're wanting to get the complete our out seal, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to loosen our end cables to make sure that those exterior cables are not pulling against us, preventing us from accomplishing a seal. At this stage, it doesn't matter if you loosen up the chain or the cables. We just want the end cables to be visually sagging in place. At this stage, we should be able to grab this out bottom cable and as I pull on it you should be able to see the interior bottom standoff bracket being forced out. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to tighten this out bottom cable until the room stays in the out position. I'm going to clamp on the cable sleeve like so to keep the cable from spinning while I'm adjusting it. As you can see with minimal adjustment, the room is staying out in the out position. Another test is that if we pull this out bottom cable again, if that bracket moves at all, your cable's not tight enough. In this case, we're locked in really well. After we tightened our out bottom, as you can see, our adjustment brackets are kicked at a slight angle. It's really important to match the tension of these two cables because over time, this adjustment bracket can turn sideways and it can create a collision between the two adjustment brackets. So I'm just simply going to tighten up this out top cable until the bracket is sitting straight up and down. At this point our bracket is straight up and down this way, so to keep the bracket straight up and down this way, I'm going to verify that my chain lock nut is locked in place. The way I'm going to do that is if I could spin this jam nut by hand, which I can, it's not tight enough. So I'll run this jam nut to the adjustment bracket and I'll tighten it on the adjustment side. And I want this bracket to be straight up and down with the face of this chain. At this point, we're going to repeat the same process on the other side. So again, I'm going to start by loosening my ends until they're visually sagging in place, just to make sure that nothing's pulling against me while I'm forcing the room out. Take off these foam blocks. I'm going to pull on this out bottom cable, make sure that there's nothing catching or keeping us from forcing that bottom corner of the room out. With it moving freely, I'm going to go ahead and tighten up this out bottom cable until it forces that bottom corner of the room all the way out. 
See if I could pull on this and that adjust or that standoff bracket is moving. It is not tight enough. There we go, staying in place. At this point, our adjustment bracket sitting straight up and down this way, and our lock nut is jammed against the adjustment bracket, so it's keeping it straight up and down with the face of the chain. So at this point, we're done with the outs. I'm going to put the foam blocks back on the adjustment nuts. Now that the outs are adjusted, we're going to focus on tensioning the ends. The way we're going to do that is, is we're going to make sure we have even tension across the top and the bottom cable. And what I like to do is I like to put half of the tension on the chain and half the tension on the cables. The adjustment that I'm shooting for as far as tension is you should be able to go approximately six inches from the adjustment bracket and be able to squeeze these two cables together. You want to be about a half inch to three quarters of an inch from touching those cables together. Again, with the majority of the tension on the chain, we can see that the adjustment bracket sitting straight up and down, which is what we're shooting for. We don't want it to be kicked at an angle because if it's at an angle, it'll turn sideways and it'll, over time and it'll create a collision. So we're just gonna tighten this up until we get that half inch to three quarters of an inch tension that I spoke of before. Like so. Now that we're tensioned properly, we're gonna lock the jam nut in place. If I'm able to loosen that jam nut by hand, it's not tight enough. Go ahead and put the adjustment anti-vibration foam blocks on. And we'll move to the other side. All right, we're gonna repeat the same process on this side as we did before. And we're just gonna tighten the chain down, making sure we have even tension between our top and bottom cable. In this case, the tension's a little off, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lock this jam nut in place, make it line up with the face of the chain. Then I'm going to tighten down on each cable until we have even tension. With the bracket straight up and down, I'm going to go six inches away, try to squeeze those cables together. Be about a half inch to three quarters of an inch from touching those cables together. Like so. Once the adjustment is complete, you're going to put the white anti-vibration foam blocks back on the cable ends. Once your adjustment is complete, you just want to confirm that you're sealing in the exterior position like so with the standoff brackets making contact at the top and the bottom of the jam. And then we're going to step outside and verify tension of the exterior cables. Now we're going to double check the tension of our exterior cables. While we were adjusting the end cables on the interior, we were doing that squeeze technique of that half inch to three quarters of an inch gap. With that gap, you should have a half inch deflection on the exterior, meaning you should be able to grab the cable with these two fingers and be able to easily lift the cable up a half inch, easily push it down a half inch from center. That's the tension that we're shooting for for all four exterior cables.